This was really an unusual uh, primary. I don't think Pennsylvania's ever seen anything like this. Lou Barletta talking about Pennsylvania's Republican primary for governor as he made an election eve day stop at the Penrose Diner in South Philadelphia. How you doing? Hi. Hi. I'm Lou Barletta. In the final days of the race, former opponents and a group that put millions into the race for another candidate have gotten behind Barletta in a push to put him over the top and past Republican State Senator Doug Mastriano, who some Republicans fear is too extreme to win the general election. Mastriano held a rally in Warminster over the weekend, but didn't allow media members inside. Hours after former President Trump endorsed him. Today, I asked Barletta about the impact. I spent a lot of time campaigning for President Trump in 2016, in 2020, here in Pennsylvania. How disappointed are you not to get that endorsement? Well, you know, I, I think he made a mistake. Um, Do you think it'll cost you the race? Well, listen, this race, people know me. They know who I am. Uh, they know my relationship with President Trump. I was one of the first to endorse him. I co-chaired his campaign. I was on his transition team. I gave up a safe seat in Congress uh, to run for Senate uh, at, his, at his urging. Uh, but the people of Pennsylvania know who I am, and I have a record. Barletta is running in what is a big field of candidates. Seven still running, including former U.S. Attorney Bill McSwain and Delaware County business owner Dave White. They're insisting they're staying in the race after two other candidates dropped out to endorse Barletta last week. The Republican Party did not endorse in the primary. Where does this put Republicans after, after all of this? Well, you know, I, I, I think, uh, you know, they'll look back at this and see, you know, what they could have done better. And I mentioned that Senator Mastriano did not allow members of the media into his rally this weekend. His campaign has also not responded to any of our inquiries and requests for an interview throughout this campaign. Now, whoever wins the Republican primary for the governor's race, they will go up against Attorney General Josh Shapiro, the only Democrat running in this race. And that will happen in November. Live in Bluebell, I'm Lauren Make, NBC10 News. First, we will see what happens tomorrow. Lauren, thanks. And polls across Pennsylvania open tomorrow at 7 a.m., close at 8. As long as you are in line by 8, you're allowed to vote. And we know there are a lot of candidates running in the election. There are a lot of issues. It's hard to figure out who all the candidates are, where they stand. We are making it easier for you. You can grab your phone, scan that QR code right now. We'll leave it up for a second. It will take you to our Decision 2020 section on our website that will have all the information you need to know.